Did you know that Pluto is no longer considered a planet? It's a fascinating tale of celestial politics and scientific discovery that took a dramatic turn in the early 21st century. To truly understand the saga, we first need to define what a planet is. In simple terms, a planet is a celestial body that orbits the Sun, is spherical in shape, and has cleared its orbit of other debris. Now let's hop on our cosmic time machine and journey back to 1930. In that year, a tiny, icy object was spotted in the outskirts of our solar system. It was named Pluto, and for more than 70 years it was known as the ninth planet in our solar system, a distant and mysterious world on the edge of our cosmic neighborhood. So, why did Pluto get demoted? The answer lies in what makes a planet a planet. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, also known as the IAU, decided to establish new criteria for what makes a celestial body a planet. Now, to be considered a planet, a celestial body must meet three essential criteria. Firstly, it must orbit the Sun. This seems fairly straightforward, right? Most celestial bodies we think of as planets definitely do this. Secondly, a planet must be spherical in shape. This is due to the force of gravity, which pulls matter into a spherical shape. Again, Pluto qualifies. The third criterion, however, is where Pluto falls short. To be considered a planet, a celestial body must clear its orbit of other debris. This means that it must be the dominant gravitational force in its orbit, pulling in or pushing away any other objects that come too close. This is where Pluto fails. Its orbit is filled with other objects from the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune filled with many icy bodies. Because of this, the IAU reclassified Pluto from being a planet to a new category known as a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet meets the first two criteria, but doesn't clear its orbit of other debris. So there you have it, Pluto is no longer a planet because it doesn't meet all the criteria set by the IAU. Now let's recap what we've learned today. We've unraveled the mystery of Pluto from its discovery to its demotion. We now know it's not considered a planet anymore because it didn't meet all three criteria set by the International Astronomical Union. So here's a quiz question for you. Can you remember the three criteria a celestial body must meet to be considered a planet? Don't forget to comment your answers below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button to join the Kids Math TV family. See you next time.